Welcome to the chat. This is the Banjo 2 Challenge Series number 7. This is race number 7 out of 8 before we determine who makes it onto the bracket stage. How many people make it to the bracket stage, you might ask? I don't know, but we'll figure that out. Um, oh. This challenge is for as many points as all the other challenges, so good luck to all the runners. Um, Alright, it's 8 o'clock. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah, uh, I am ready. I guess, let's do so it. So, mm -hmm. when I count, and then I say go, that means start your timer and go, okay? Sounds good. Gotcha. Alright, <laughs> yeah. three, two, one, go! Good luck. Good luck. Right. Hope you all go dead. Good luck. <laughs> let's get them all the heck out of here. Let's get my finger on the button for the timer. <laughs> Ugh, and they're off. And they're off. Okay, so Cole, welcome back. It's uh, nice to have commentators for these, so I don't have to do it all by myself. Especially someone as knowledgeable as yourself can be very useful for this particular challenge. Yes, this entire challenge is bringing out all of the obscure things that you're like, oh, I'll never need to learn this for anything. Well, you better have learned that for this. So let's go ahead and flash the challenge on screen. Challenge number seven is photo finish. Recreate as many pictures as possible. There are three easy, three hard, three medium, that's a weird order, and three insane pictures, which give you increasing numbers of points, and they have two hours to recreate as many as they can. Now, what are these pictures, you might ask? Uh... Here they are. Here they are, cropped to not perfection, but you can go ahead and type exclamation point Info in the chat if you want to see a, I guess, better resolution version of pictures. Cole, can you tell us a little bit of about some of the things that we're seeing here? So they're going from easy to insane. So the easy meaning you don't need to know much or you may know how to do some of these because you know how to do the glitches from runs. But the insane ones are a lot of things you don't ever do in runs. And a lot of things that you may never even know what they are. And you have to spend some time figuring out what they even are. Yes. Like, some people are pointing out. So, some of these pictures are difficult because it's like, what the heck is that? Some of them are difficult, like, how the heck do I get there? Some of them are just, what the fuck is this, you know? Uh, especially looking at some of these insane ones, like, how, how is that even possible? Like, you can kind of guess where some of these are, but these are not situations you would normally find some runners in. Some of these might be a little tough because they require, they have high requirements in terms of notes and moves and stuff like that. And others just require you to have been perusing Chronic East's YouTube channel at 3 in the morning, so... Yes. So I expect that if some of them want to get some of these harder ones, you're going to be seeing them collect notes for the first 40-something minutes of this challenge. Right. They, they require things, like some of them may require all the way to sack pack. Oh, I hate how it does this. Okay. Some of them might require sack pack, you say. Might. Hmm. That is a very uh, strong word. Might. So, um, there's a, quite a bit of interesting strategy that could be going on here. I imagine that these runners are definitely looking through the pictures, seeing which ones they immediately know how to do. And now the question is, do you just knock out all the ones you know and then start picking apart one image at a time, what you might know? It's one of those things that you may be able to do the ones you know on your way collecting notes and stuff, but then you're going to have to like sit down and figure out how to do some of these. Some of them you're just going to go to that level and look around. Some of them may not even be able to figure out what they are. So, um, I know it's a little dark. Uh, there are some clues. 
SHM definitely clocked it. Uh, I did in these little extra rules here, I did specify some things. Um, in the third easy image that T-Rex is roaring. At least I hope it is. Um, he is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> in the first hard image, the one you're asking about, Kazooie is performing the hatch move. So to properly recreate that picture, they will need to learn hatch first and then go find the location, get there, and so on. Uh, in the second hard image, you see Banjo is clearly in his backpack, taking a snooze, that is snooze better. And then in the insane image, which I really hope we get to see what these runners do, um, Kazooie is again hatching. Alpha DMing me, internet is my fire net. My, my fire net. <laughs> so yeah, so in the in the hints, I did say the internet is your friend. Um, you know, I, I do expect some of these runners to know how to do some of these pictures, and I, I I do expect some of these pictures to just be out of the knowledge of most of these runners, actually. Um, yeah, a lot of them, like we've mentioned in discords or right. whatever over the, if you've been keeping up with it, like, we're talking about like the snowball jump up the mountain. Like, if you know how to do that trick, you may be able to think about how to get that snowball going. Stuff like that. Like, you just have to be a little bit knowledgeable about the recent stuff, but also some about the more obscure stuff that never really found its way into runs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So our, uh. Late night Discord reading, you know, warriors are gonna be hard. Uh, it's the opposite of punished. Rewarded, hard rewarded here. Yeah, if you know the obscure stuff and know how to do it, you can get one of those harder, insane ones, which give you lots of points. Oh yeah, definitely a huge advantage over your competitors. Um, I, I like how Alpha. First of all, you know, I always have the Discord open because, you know, sometimes runners have questions and I'm up there to be able to answer the questions. Alpha elects to DM me, which I guess secrecy, but I, I, I'm always vigilant about checking Discord and he's just DMing me his thoughts at this point. He's, he says, WTF are those train rails? No way, that's GI. <laughs> So. He's, just, he's just trying to get he's trying to bait you into getting an answer he knows what he's doing okay but anyways talk about what the runners are actually doing you can see GD opener garage door opener in the bottom right hand corner setting up DCW now where would you DCW if you were doing this challenge Cole? Uh, so if you carefully look at all the photos there's only one that really re hard requires the DCW. So if you know what you're trying to do there, you're going to want to save your DCW to be going to Wooded Hollow. Yeah. One of the most useless places the <laughs> DCW to. But it is useful in this one. But what we're going to see here is that they're going to find that it's actually not as easy as they think it is, even if they DCW there. Yeah. You know, I said I was going to try it, and then I never actually tried it, so. I have no idea how hard it is, but I'm excited to find out. And we see Alpha opening up Treasure Chamber. That is going to give him access to Treasure Chamber. Oh, I see what he's doing. Alpha's plan is to pick up honeycombs. Now, does anybody in chat have any idea why Alpha might be picking up honeycombs? I will say, I don't think there's any of the pictures that require honeycombs for any reason. However, there is one picture where honeycombs can help. I think he's using his knowledge from the last challenge. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, actually something he said. He said, uh, last challenge helps me out for this one, smiley face emoji. 
for Mumbo, for Mumbo and GI, Keck W. Eight from Smokestack and seven from Roof. <laughs> so, of course, that is a reference to, uh, I don't know which image it is. I think it's the second medium one or the first medium one. Um, but, you know, getting Mumbo up in the rafters in GI might require you to take some fall damage. sees Brickus and Alpha basically completely tied up. Same note count, same spot. Alpha with a bit faster of a tech skip. Wow! It is actually insane to me how much time I just watched Alpha save over Zenernicus to tech skipping alone. <laughs> He's got years of practice. What? What's up with Tahat Unga Bunga Caveman Hole? Did you see up with a clockwork how did you do that, cheater? <laughs> you should just tell him to stop typing to you unless it's a natural question. <laughs> yeah, but I like reading it. Ugh. Oh. Anyways. So we see Claire is uh, setting up her ECW while Genio is making his way out of GGM. There is a cheat that is a lot for this run. It was Jiggy Wiggy Special. You know, our runners were speculating that this might be the challenge where Jiggy Wiggy Special is off, but it's not, and the truth is it's hard to come up with interesting challenges that have Jiggy Wiggy Special off, so... But they exist, and they're coming, don't worry. You should just run around in so many different places, you don't have to worry about all the setup, you just get right to the challenge, that's why. They're much better for the, yeah, the qualifier agree. stages. And, and a thought about the time limit. I was thinking about this, you know, past couple days, and I was like, man, two hours is a long time. I'm afraid we're going to run into situations where, you know, people do all the pictures that they can do, and they're just going to sit around for an hour and not be capable of figuring out the other ones, you know? But then I thought back to that damage challenge, where people spent 45 minutes trying to figure out how to take seven damage in PDL. I don't think the two hour time limit is a mistake. You'll see that, like, they'll have an idea for hopefully at least one of them, and they'll be trying to, f and they'll be doing that for the rest of the time, and hopefully they get it, or they just won't. And I don't think anybody's just gonna finish, like, three and be like, I can't do anymore, because come on, you've got, like, an hour left. Try. So, Corey SCG asking a question. Um... Does amount of life count as a notable feature? Well, there are, there are two screenshots or two pictures where the life total is even on screen. And one is the snowball picture where it's very easy to get down to one health, but it wouldn't really matter anyways. And the second is in that picture with uh, the insane one. Three, actually. Do I not know my own challenge? But uh, I would say no. Originally, I would have said yes because I was planning on in putting in a picture that, you know, had a certain amount of life and it would have mattered. But in this case, no. Yeah, no. your your health is just always up on that Kazooie one. It doesn't go away. <laughs> so if somebody Unless... does that with one health, then yeah, it, it's more of can you get your char the right character into the right spots with roughly the right camera angle and some other noticeable features like are you doing the right move? Right. And I, I was pretty specific. We're not going to be super rules. picky if right. you get all the main f things. And there are some of them that you don't even know what character you are because you're in first person. So it doesn't matter what character you are there. As long as your camera is looking at the same thing. Now I will say that, uh, you know, a lot of our runners are leaving MT without, uh, without recreating the MT picture, which is honestly quite accessible right from the beginning. I guess, actually, Alpha and Zernicus haven't been to GGM yet, so they don't have build room. Yeah. But they had, they had Golden Goliath, they could have kicked the rock! 
Anyways. Hopefully people know how to do that one. It's only been talked about in like every <laughs> single race for the last forever. Right? And it's, uh, it is your favorite named move. Your favorite named glitch, Cole. Yeah, it's the, the MT Out of Bounds clip. clip. Anyways, take a look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We have GDO taking a flight pad in MT. Not going where I thought he would. He's just collecting notes. This is fine. He might have a, an idea of how many notes he'll need by the end of this challenge, which spoilers the answers a lot. Claire is doing a recon mission right now. She has found some feathers that she didn't know existed. And I also didn't know existed. Going for health upgrades for the mumbo picture is not terrible. The fall from the roof down to the treble clef is a five foot health fall. Which you can't survive if you don't get a health upgrade. However, as people in chat have mentioned, there are some methods to take that fall without taking the whole five. You know, one is to get hit by the dude that's up there and get pushed off, and you don't take any fall damage after that. So you'll take the one from the dude and land more. There's also that staff dive thing, which I don't know if that necessarily works on the group because there's the inclines. But what Alpha's doing is work. Works, so. See, Snarnik is also doing some recon, trying to figure out how the heck he's gonna get Solo Kazooie up to that pipe. Thunderstorm in the Discord. I can't find a tutorial. LOL. That's his thing, man. Ooh, I figured out 4 2 Ring Rush. Get true. <laughs> Who's winning? Well, Connor, they are all at zero, so they are all losing. Sutterstorm. Sutterstorm not streaming right now. Unfortunately, I would have liked to see him do this challenge because this is a lot about uh, Googling obscure tricks and learning them for the first time on stream. But he yeah. says he's having I, I, I actually did 4 2 on stream like a month and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so any cold viewers would have been rewarded. So you're planning on. But nobody well. watches me, so. You're planning on doing well in a future BTCS. <laughs> better uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon at twitch.tv slash Captain Cole. GDO going for his vine clip. He will be going for the first person to finish an image, to recreate an image. Claire presumably looking up a tutorial. I got it. He's playing it safe. Nice <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't count. You gotta figure something out, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what yeah, did he do? He, he uh, beak bombed way too high there, so the camera got stuck in bounds. <laughs> well, I, I guess he's death warping and trying again. <laughs> I have never seen that. <laughs> yeah, out of bounds cameras get really like messed up if the camera's still in bounds. The HP doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, in a perfect world it would, but to simplify the challenge and to get rid of some headaches. And to not punish people who get the insane images under less than ideal conditions, I decided to not consider it. 
It's more like, do you have the moves for those, th right. like some of the pitchers? Those are the things that matter. Oh my god, Zenerticus! You can do it! You can get on it! Fourth try. Oh, he, he needed a grip grab, but he got there. <laughs> he did it in the end. Man, I didn't think the camera angle would be such a big deal. But <laughs> it is! <laughs> Jesus! And this was an easy call. I've never had these issues. Like, the times I've done it, it's always been out of bounds for me on the backside. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what I did write is to score points for a picture, get the correct character to the correct location, performing the correct move, if any, with any text boxes present, an approximately similar camera angle, and any peculiar or notable features. So... I would say that a 180 flip doesn't constitute a. Uh, yeah, you need to be able to see out of that hole. Yeah. Like with the crouch. All right, let's see if. Uh, he needs to get out of first time. person so he knows where his camera is. Ooh, this is it. Okay. This is it. And that counts. I'll give it to him. There you go. Crouch. Perfect. Crouch. Boom. Got it. Good enough. <laughs> So our first player is on the board, GDO with one point for completing it easy. <laughs> Which ended up being a little bit harder than he <laughs> thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, if we call it right now, if it was a 20 minute, 43 second time limit, it'd be a GDO win. Now, uh, if you're GDO, where is your next, uh, what is your next plan of attack? Where do you go next? Just make some progress through some levels, I suppose. Definitely. You, you want to be able to just, like, progress all the way to the end game GI. Because you're definitely planning on trying to finish all the easy and medium ones. Right. Just because you feel like you could probably get them all. So you want to be able to get enough notes, get to all the locations, and then attempt them on your way if you know, already know how to do them. Zernicus, you get in a uh, learn of airborne egg aim. That is going to be useful for not much. But you never know. Maybe one of these shots is some like no reticle airborne something or I don't know. Y you can never know. I mean, Cole and I are the ones who made the pictures, so. GDO taking a look around, seeing where the heck he can get this angle on Area 51. <laughs> Exactly, Ring Rush. <laughs> That's it's uh, it's one that most people can recognize, but have never done themselves. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting, GDO. Looks very similar to one of the pictures, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. When you posted that picture, we're like, "Oh, let's do this one." I'm like, "What the hell did you do? Did you soft lock it like that?" <laughs> and then. And then I I went over there and I'm like wait a minute and then I got it. <laughs> it, it took me like five minutes good. to That's like good. completely figure it out, but it made sense. I feel like I, I so I was going around hunting for some pictures on a file that like already DCW to credits, and I hadn't gotten the goggles. So I feel like I could have gotten a much more interesting picture if I stood on top of Dive of Death and then zoomed in somewhere. But I'm, I'm and that that becomes a lot harder to try to f like pinpoint where you are. Right. You know, Condi says I was happy to know, or I was happy I knew how to do at least four of these without having to look it up. I was very specific that you can look things up in this challenge. So yes, well that is awesome that you can do four without looking them up. It's think about how many you could do with looking them up. That's the real challenge. Yeah. The problem was is that we didn't want to require mul multiple pictures right. to use DCW. Yeah. 
we wanted to have a tr try to have a good variety of difficulty and locations and techniques and stuff, so. However, any ideas and suggestions, you can drop them in my uh, Discord inbox. And if we like your ideas, we'll use them in the future. Claire says, man, I literally don't know what to do. Well, that is unfortunate. Now, if I could tell Claire what to do right now, I would say just go to Chronicles' YouTube channel and look at some of the uh, thumbnails, look at some of the, uh, look at some of the uh, idols of the videos. You might find some interesting information. Yeah, for like the easy one, the like one three, I'm just like, what's a really silly thing that I can do that's just really easy, but you don't see in runs. And so, get Daddy T Rex and jump into a weird spot. Um, I don't know that that's necessarily true, Ring Rush. If you don't recognize one one, you'll never get it. Alpha said he didn't recognize one one, but it's if you look at it, it's so clearly a train track. So you just kind of go around all the levels and you start looking at train tracks until you find one that looks like that. Man, Alpha's really going out of his way for honeycombs. Hello, Erica, the Deer Demon 2022. I'm guessing Alpha thinks it's going to take 7 damage to fall down. That's, yeah, because that's what he said. He said you take 7 damage from the roof. Little does he know you're actually landing on quite an elevated surface, and you're not going to take the full 7. It's funny, because it doesn't even look that elevated that it's going to be a difference of 2 honeycombs. Yeah, right? <laughs> damage calculation's weird. We learned that last race. <laughs> Zernicus making his way over towards uh, Wingwhack, which is definitely going to be useful in this challenge. Although, is it? I think. Can you do that one with Glide and, and Flaps? Or do you need Wingwhack? For which one? For the Water Storage one. Uh, I think you can just do it with Flaps. But it's really hard. It's like, it's a really precise jump. Now, Gogo, you say Alpha giving up on 4-3. I say Alpha has no idea that he can't do 4-3 anymore. Or he does, and he just says, I don't know how to do it. Yeah, maybe. And he would rather just get the other ones. So, 4-2. Four 4-2 two. Four two is very clearly Pillar's Tricky. But the weird thing is that there's this weird background something going on, right? So the question is, how do I get that background? By the way, Claire, very expertly dodging that skill stop. How do you deal with that background? How do you achieve that background? So think about your experiences in Banjo-Tooie. What things have changed the background? Or like... You know what I mean? I've made you see weird things from a different perspective. Claire and GDO synced, by the way. Although, Claire giving it a think. Oh. <laughs> Alpha has Alpha. found something! <laughs> Not even hitting the, uh, the spring, the shock spring pad. What if he needed that? Then you just PTS back up. Uh, 
True. Yeah, Alpha is good at that. Taking a look now, uh, Geo is, uh, I guess, just progressing through the levels. He was a fan. Just opening up Inferno in case he needed it, I guess, or... Getting notes. Sees Nernicus. Grabbing some Globos, grabbing some notes. There is game audio, it's just really quiet. Let me turn it up, actually. So GDO going ahead, setting up his DCW. Oh no, Claire! <laughs> so Nardic is making his way in HFP. That uh, snowball picture is very accessible and doesn't really have any requirements. Now what is interesting <laughs> about the snowball picture is there are multiple ways to do it. Nardic is with those four Globos. <laughs> I mean, you, you need them, don't you? I mean, there's a Mumbo <laughs> picture there, there's the Snowball picture, and I guess you really only need two, right? Oh, you need two in TDL. True, <laughs> true. See, this is what I get for not having the picture of the 12 pictures. <laughs> and I forget things. But yeah, four. Four is the perfect number, I think. Unless there's some other weirdness that I don't... Anyways. See Alpha making his way into uh, the River Passage to get another honeycomb. Claire setting up her DCW. Snernik is going around collecting notes. I would like to see him turn in the snowball here because he absolutely has the tools he needs to get this picture. GDO getting Ice Key. You actually don't want Ice Key, do you? No, it'll make the picture unattainable. Right. Because that door is very clearly closed. And that is very clearly Solo Banjo. Yeah, I made sure that they had a picture that the, with the sack, the pep backpack open. Right. And three health, by the way. Not that you necessarily need to recreate the health, but it should be a clue that it's Solo Banjo. Oh well, yeah, it still doesn't matter, because how are you going to get Solo Banjo there? Right. Maybe... Is it maybe easier yeah. to get in there? And then open the safe rather than to. Yeah, I, I, the I'll take that because you can't tell if it's open or closed. Right, yeah, that's fair. Alpha, learning how to roar is probably something he's never done before. <laughs> to learn how to roar, you have to be the small dinosaur. Although, can, can the big dinosaur just roar innately, or do you have to learn how to roar first? Yeah, it just can roar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, so Alpha just didn't need to do that at all. Meanwhile, bottom left-hand corner of your screen, we have Xenernicus. Gonna be doing some snowball shenanigans. Let's, uh, let's turn on his audio real quick. Let's turn off GEO. I'm curious which route Xenernicus takes here. So, based on the fact that he is taking damage here, I think his plan is to climb the mountain with the snowball. Now you have to be at one health to climb this mountain all the way. Although, to get on the left side, which is where I think he's planning on going, you can actually do it as a higher health snowball. Oh no! 
Because if you want to do it this way, you need to go up through the glide side. And it's actually pretty easy. Although this, this slope climb is so weird, you just gotta kinda know where to do it. But it's easier on the left hand side, as Cernernicus is finding out right now. You can ride all the way along that left side. I think he thinks he needs to you, Yeah, you can't you go much higher on that mm -hmm. ledge right there, you'll slide off. And, uh, but he got it. He, he landed right where he was able to land. Now does he take the tactical health on the uh, icicle here, or does he just go for it? Turn the camera around before you die, buddy. Quick. And that's... You know what? That's good enough for me. Yep. <laughs> I'll take it. Boys. <laughs> So, uh, Alpha has enlarged the wigwam, I am assuming. You know, it's true, Electric Fortune, but it wasn't one of those things that I, I, I mentioned, really, in the extra rules. So, you know, I'm taking it. He asked, and I said yes. Now, the, me the method that uh, Zernicus took was climbing the mountain, which I think is the fastest. The other two things that you can do, um, you can do kind of like the intended thing, where you uh, shoot down all the icicles in Icicle Grotto to make that staircase. You can warp there as the snowball and then climb those icicles as a snowball, which it's a little scary because those are jumps that you have to make and not fall, but it is possible. The other thing I think you can do is get in through volcanoes. The best way. Is that is that the way you were thinking? Through the volcano? Yeah, it's the silliest way. You can just complete the volcano beforehand and then just run the snowball through. Hello, Blasty. This is the Bandit 2 Challenge series, so this is not a traditional speedrun. I'll type exclamation info in the chat for you. Um, what these guys are doing is they're doing a category that came up from depths of our brains that has all weird kinds of funky rules and we just threw it at these runners and they're figuring it out for the first time ever so good luck to them right now you can see numbers on uh you know the top left top right bottom left bottom right uh referring to how many points these guys have scored towards the challenge so far as it sits nernicus in the bottom left hand corner is in the lead with two points but it is still early in this race. You know, that would be ideal, Ring Rush, but it's a lot of effort and honestly trying to crop Four streams and fit it all in is a nightmare. So, but anyways, top right hand corner of the screen. I anticipate that Alpha will be scoring a point for himself soon. He is the big T Rex in TDL. He's just got to find a way to get on top of the pillar. It's like a tactical note along the way. You know, you gotta try it, Gogo. -Go. Very nice, Alpha. Oh. <laughs> Turn the camera a little bit more. Do the roar. Do the roar. Thank you. That is one point for your boy Alpha Q up. And that is now three pictures done between our runners. Three different pictures done, which I'm happy to see. I'd be very happy to see between all of our runners, nine of these pictures get done. Hopefully. GDO doing a thing now. 
Thank you, Harpy. I appreciate it. Can thank Cole a lot for this one too. Cole came up with probably half the pictures. Well, we I think by the end we both had half of them. Okay, that makes sense. So Jernick is uh, giving this other TDL picture a think. Now, which one is this? Is this uh, medium two? That Zernetikus is working on right now. I think he's trying to figure out which, uh, where he needs to be. Collect the ginger just so it's out of the way. <clears throat> now, you cannot see up as a clockwork. And if you look closely, there is no clockwork in that medium two picture. So while this is a good recon mission for Zernetikus, this is, uh, not quite recreating the picture. Now there's a, a pretty well-known way to get inside of that cage as oh, we've okay. talked about it in the discord like multiple times in the last few months yeah and uh of course you could beak bomb in the hole but that requires you to get terry to, to beat terry to unlock the flight pad you know there is another way to get into that hole right wow what could possibly be the other way so i'm wondering if our runners have the uh, forethought foresight to uh Take the easy and quick way, or if uh, some of them are going to elect to make their way to the top of the mountain and fight Terry. Looks like Xernicus will not be doing it anytime soon. Big clips! I'm sure there's a big clip, Lieutenant Boo. There's got to be one. But there is a there actually, like, isn't. The, there's, like, no flat ground over there. Really? Yeah. Tried to find big clips in the task for Clockworks the Fallen, skipping a loading zone. Uh-oh. Ring Rush doesn't agree with you, it sounds like. I guess there, in some spots there are, but yeah. So we see, uh, Alpha in the but not right in corner. useful spots. Alpha top right hand corner of your screen, making his way back up to the top of Quagmire potentially find a way to get a clockwork onto these railroad tracks. Let me tell you, what he is doing is not going to work. Ooh. Good try on the uh, ETS there. GD opener is, well, I'm sure you're being facetious, but as a reminder to anyone who it might not be obvious, GD opener, GDO, GDQ opener, garage door opener, the boy. Alpha also PTSing when he could be trying this shot from a more obvious spot. But hey, also PTSing when he could have pressed the button. And that he's pressing now. <laughs> Zernicus, the bottom left hand corner of your screen, has nabbed yet another image, yet another medium, putting him away in the lead with four points. Do we count that? He's not the right character, because there's obviously no Kazooie symbol. Okay. Yes, I, he asked good, and I'm giving him the yes. Okay. But you do make a good point, Cole, and if we do ever do a challenge like this in the future, we'll be sure to be specific. So, Alpha realizing that there's no way he can get a clockwork up under the railroad tracks from over there, gonna try this other angle. Like GDO too? Did he make his way into the wrong one or did he get his picture? I wasn't looking. Looks like he got he it. Counted it, so I trust him. Now 
Now this shot is actually not easy, by the way. Well, it's not that it's not easy, it's it's tight. You gotta be right on the edge of that corner, or that, that works, just kidding. Who am I to judge? Uh, Alpha is going Turn the camera. Yeah. There you go. And that counts 10 seconds on the dot. That is a point for Alpha. Yeah, GDO got it as BK. Another fall off the mountain. See Claire now making her way into the TDL cage. She doesn't know where the right hole is. So you can already see where the difference in their strategies are already coming into play here, where Xernicus opted to get two mediums and is in the lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alpha in the chat, for perfect sake. <clears throat> that is a hatch out of Xernicus, going to be setting him up for two potential images. No. <laughs> I think it's funny that these guys are collecting the Jinjo. You totally don't have to collect the Jinjo. But, might as well. Now this is, this is Alpha's magnum opus. He was excited about this. He's like, I know how much health I need. I know how to do this. He's in GI, he's for his GI picture, and I couldn't be more proud of him. Claire's setting up a clockwork warp, it looks good. Ooh, don't soft lock, that looks like a soft lock. Oh, wow, that is an interesting soft lock, let me tell you. I never saw that before. <laughs> <laughs> is this what happens if you soft lock a solo K? <laughs> like it found the character that it wanted to switch to, but yeah, it's now gonna soft lock because there is no Kazooie anymore. Storm yeah, because most of the time when you do get your soft locks, like, there is no other character in the places that you're doing them. Right. But in that specific case, you were warping into the same room that had right. Solo Banjo. That it's not something weird. you see very often. Uh -huh. You know, I like Fortune on the meme reports, there is soft lock percent. Although it's the optimal strat is not the way you might expect. See Xernicus enlarging enlarging the wigwam. Gonna be setting up for his easy picture, his first easy picture. GDO as well. Making his way around the level. Funny how they all had so many different routes going on at the start, and now three of them are all in the same level. Well, TDL is the one level that has two pictures, so... Well, that's not even true, by the way. It has two no. <laughs> non-insane pictures, I should say. Is that true? I sure hope that's true. Yes, that is true. Yeah. You know, the, the insane pictures are nice to have, but we put them in there fully expecting that nobody would do any of them, so we could be pleasantly surprised if anybody did. And Claire does not get the timing on this block report. Thankfully not a soft block, though. That is indeed a roar. Xernicus making sure he didn't have to learn roar as a small dino first. Go. 
Yeah, everybody's gonna have so much fun trying uh, the four three when they realize that there's a ceiling in that room. <laughs> oh, clear. Okay, it worked out. Ooh. Her clockwork got stuck on the wall there. Perfect. GDO and GI now. He's gonna make his way through four floor or floor four early rather than taking the punch machine like uh, Mr. Alpha did. Zernicus so saying, you know what? Maybe I'll need this in the future, who knows? I think he's trying to get up higher because he doesn't know he can jump to it. From, from uh, Springy Step Shoes. Yeah. But they specifically made the mountain right there so you can't get up. Right. Can't do it from the other side either. <laughs> if you had to do some weird jumps to get up the mountain, it would have been a much right. higher ranked challenge. Claire says she doesn't think she's going to get any more points, but she's got an hour and ten minutes. Come on, you yeah. can get the TDL Dino one. Yeah, the TDL Dino, like, <laughs> you, you give anybody the game and they'll at least try it, you know? That one doesn't require any knowledge, really. Well, it requires knowledge of pressing the A button, but... Alpha doesn't know that there's the hallway to get the mumbo faster. <laughs> I mean, GI's a maze, dude. He's like, floor three? I've never been on floor <laughs> three in my life. Well done, Prisonernicus. Get the right angle. Get the roar. That's a GJ. Five points for Prisonernicus now. Ooh, GDO learning snooze pack. That can only mean one thing. He, he knows how to do it. Or has an idea. Uh, he's collecting more notes. Hmm. What could require more notes? Well, there's two things that could require it, actually, so. I'm gonna swap audio to Alpha real quick. Because I think we're anticipating a potential photo finish from him. You don't need to kill him. There is no reason to kill that guy. And he's like teabagging his body. What is that about? Oh, he's he was looking for health. He thinks he can't do it now because he doesn't have enough health. <laughs> now the question is, did Alpha break the window? <laughs> he's actually going back. Oh my god. Why are you going all the way back? No, Ring Rush. Oh my god, he's death warping on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> creative problems require creative solutions or something like that? Modern problems Modern require problems. more. But yeah, Ring Rush, the, the only stipulation is that all of your actual like progress needs to be done on the actual game. Aye. <laughs> hey, look, the health. <laughs> where are you going, buddy? He has no yeah, idea where uh, it is. It's right on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny to watch. Well done. Well done. Plenty of health. Wow, he didn't need that health. And here's the thing. This jump is not necessarily easy. I have messed this up three times in a row. You gotta super commit to this. Oh, 
Oh. That sucks. Do not worry. This 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 is a tough. But at least yeah. now he knows. Mumbo just wanted to have ball. Mumbo up on the travel cliff. I said, why not just go inside True. with him? True. True. So you can blame me. <laughs> you see, Claire, she's eyeing the location of one of the pictures, but she uh, has no idea how to get up there. She is missing two crucial moves. Speaking of crucial moves, we see a GDO with the correct character in the correct location to learn one of those crucial moves. Or did he already do it? He did. Okay. Man, I feel for Alpha. It's hard. So what's great about a GDO's route is while he's here, you know, the the Mumbo picture, the one that Alpha's going for right now, doesn't really require anything, so... I think GDO was about to just leave and then uh -huh. he realized, oh, there's a photo here I can do. Oh. <laughs> Alpha says, oh boy, a rage is coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the thing with this one is you can't just rub against the wall. You kind of have to go out and in exactly. in order to get enough speed to actually get into the little alcove. Zernicus learning his leg spring. Well, soon he will be. You know, it, it doesn't take that much time to come back here and retry this. There you go! <laughs> now let's hope he just doesn't fall here while he's trying to flip his camera. Take it, take the snapshot, it counts. Ooh. Well done. Very nice. Ooh, Zernicus has six points. What uh what easy picture did we miss Zernicus getting? We saw him get the T-Rex. Did he get the he one got, in MT? He got he got the Quagmire one. The Quagmire one, okay, cool. Very nice. Wow, I mean he is in the lead by a lot right now, which is pretty sick to see. Although GDO does have a lot of setup done. Yep. Or about reaching that halfway mark mm -hmm. to where they should be close to getting all those required moves and being ready to get some of those harder ones if you were waiting to get them. Right. I think Claire might be looking for like a loading zone or something to, to like do a warp or something. I wonder if she knows that leg springs in the game. Well, no, she has to because she runs 100%. <laughs> well, I clearly don't, just don't understand this glitch and definitely have the wrong idea. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure what glitch she is talking about? Oh, bird balloon. Oh, see, now that, you're right. That is exactly what she's trying to do. And that is an interesting idea. But I don't think it works like that. Yeah, that that no is a great thought. There. That is a fantastic thought. That, all, that's just a texture. It's not actual water. But that, yeah, that would be. That's some good thinking, though. You know, I'm pretty sure that the, that loading zone from the JRL pipe, like, stays a loading zone. Like, I don't think you can actually go back through it, but if you shoot a clockwork into it, I think it tells you, oh, you can't do this. You can go back through. Can you? That's yeah, cool. it's intended. The, the little chain there is the grab on and climb oh. back in. Oh, that's cool. 
the game kind of is just like, well, you're back in GGM, but you probably want to go back to the level you were, yeah, so... Right? <laughs> GDO now going for his easy picture. Gonna take a few attempts at this shot, try to find the right spot. I find the easiest way is to bank off the wall here, and then like, hold way into the rails. Yeah. To drift over. Because you want that extra height, and putting it off the wall allows you to do it. Uh-huh. Cernicus is now becoming Mumbo, presumably for his uh, GI picture, which he hasn't gotten yet. So taking a look at these pictures, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them have been attained by someone. So Nest King was not allowed. The only cheat allowed for this challenge was Jiggy Wiggy Special. Yeah. Th the six that we knew that most people were going to instantly go get have been taken by at least someone. It's now going to be who gets what harder ones. Yeah. Uh, GDO is definitely set up for one of them at least. Two of them. He's, he's definitely going, going for the, the snooze pack one. And he's getting Kazooie moves also for whichever one he wants. Xernicus with only four health. Not survive that fall. 3 3 is very easy to do. It's just not obvious what it is. But it doesn't require any glitches or anything. A casual player could probably figure it out eventually. But as Cole mentioned earlier, it does look like a soft lock angle, which it isn't. It's just to see up. And Xernicus is trying to figure out how to uh, how to use his rod effectively. So I don't I don't think this rod strat actually works. It works. Slope, does it? What do you have to do? You have to go perfectly down the seam so you don't get those right. weird bumps. You did mention that. Alpha, top right hand corner of your screen, looking up the snowball strat, which is one of the three ways to do it. He's looking up a tutorial. Meanwhile, Gio making his way towards Shack Pack. Now, Shack Pack, what would he need Shack Pack for? I don't see Shack Pack in any of these uh, pictures. Please change audio. You know what? Fair. Let's change audio. Let's uh, let's go back to let's go back to GDO. Let's see what he's up to. Well, why do you need sack pack, Gogo? Oh, very nice job, Snernicus. I wasn't watching. I didn't see how he survived the fall. But he got the jump first try, which very impressive. It's good enough for me. Good job, Zernicus. That is now eight points for Zernicus, <laughs> which is pretty sick. Which he's missing one easy picture, I think. Which easy picture is he missing? Oh, he's missing the yeah. one at MT. MT one. I actually kind of thought that Xernicus would be pretty good at this challenge. He likes knowing how to do all these glitch type things. It's more his style. Gideon's got Glide. Still grabbing notes. Still grabbing notes. What could that be? 
Meanwhile, Claire is preemptively telling us to not laugh at whatever uh, strat she's coming up with here. And you know what? I'm not gonna. Because I was I was <laughs> kind of impressed with the thinking for the, the water storage picture. But anyways, Nernik is now making his way through uh, the Mayhem Temple Out of Bounds, whatever shit Cole calls it. And he's paused, which means I think this is the first time he's ever done it. And he is currently watching a tutorial. Aunt Jazzy says, shout out a Banjo Runner. Cole, do you have any Banjo Runners in mind that you'd like to shout out? No. I'd like to shout out Emo Arbiter, who was the winner of the first Banjo 2 Challenge series. Fortunately, has not been around for this one. Would have loved to see uh, the reigning champ compete, but he's probably sucked into whatever Final Fantasy, whatever. All right, Alpha is making his way up the mountain, and he got sniped. Well, uh, that is. If, this, if the world's not open and you disable the cheat, the world will go back to closed. Baby, double snowball. Is she, like, trying to set up DCW here or something? Is that the idea? I... Not quite sure. If you want a DCW to Wooded Hollow, wouldn't you just use the, the pillar? The yellow plinth whatever thing? And also use the Jinjo. Right. Nah, if she... Yeah, if she goes for a DCW on this, she'll just DCW inside Jigawigi's temple, right? I think she'll make a safety save here. GDO just barely missing that. Come on, Alpha. Just go for it! Oh my god, just do it. However, the issue is going to be... Uh. For Claire again, is... Once you, uh... DCW there, how are you gonna get to where you need to be? Exactly. Doesn't and to pose needs. for the photo. Zernica says, and the fun of learning new tricks begins. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> That's, that is why I said that Sunder has all the experience he needs for this challenge. Because it's uh, a lot of looking up tutorials and learning tricks on the fly. <laughs> I love all this damage of Snowball that's going on. You totally don't need to take this damage either. I think you can even climb up to where you need to be as 5 health Snowball. All right, well done, GDO. I got it. <laughs> Alpha's still working on it. Claire making her way to the to the split up pads, which is exactly the right way to think about this. Um, gonna take Solo Kazooie over to DCW. Hopefully does not use a warp pad. But it was good thinking that she made a safety save so she can, um, keep her DCW. Very wise. Just gonna walk all the way over there. Exactly what you need to be doing. Alpha! Alpha gonna be getting his picture done. Uh, 
And that counts. Yay. That's good enough. Well done. Oh, Claire, don't die. Oh, Zernicus got the out of bounds. But he, he fell back. Yeah, you gotta right. hold down for longer. Mm -hmm. And that that is what Jiggy Wiggy's temple looks like from the outside, by the way. In case uh, you were ever wondering. Alright, GDO is making his way into CCL. This is where he's going to find Sackpack and hopefully do one picture. I think GDO has everything that he needs to be able to complete this picture here. Almost everything. Almost everything. Well, he doesn't need... Um, Whatever it's called, sack pack. He doesn't need it. <laughs> Why is there a vine right here? Okay, and he, yeah, it looks like he's going for it that way. <laughs> oh, he's doing it the pack whack way? It's not easy to get up there. It's not. I remember you're, I did a you're, lot you're of better off. He's better off getting another 60 notes. I did a lot of testing with this when we did our uh, notes as solo banjo challenge last year. However, that notes a solo banjo, it's actually much harder to do it as uh, with Super Banjo on. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's why everybody was struggling. So as you can see, uh, anybody who hasn't seen this trick before, if you pack whack, you can double jump out of it. I think we uh, most of us know that. Um, if you kind of land on one of those slopes that is slippery, but you can kind of still make contact with, you can pack whack into it, and it kind of like, I guess the idea is it counts you as like on a grounded state. I mean, tell me if I'm saying anything wrong, but but it basically gives you your jump back, and you can just endlessly climb with pack whacks and jumps out of pack whack as long as you're making contact with that slope. All right, Alpha, seize the pillars, Jiggy. But now is trying to figure out how the heck. Uh, how the heck he's supposed to get this background? Meanwhile, Zernik is still going for the uh, the clip and MT. Yeah, he's clipped a few times. He just keeps going inbounds. Now he's trying to different spots. You can do it in some of the spots along that. But it's not as easy though. GDO's getting up there. I think he's got this. I mean, it looks like he knew what he was doing. Ooh, so close. Yeah, it gets harder up right here. Because you get some slopes you can't climb. Oh, he's so close, too. Yeah, I thought you gotta grab the ledge. There you go. Very you nice. Go. And then GDO is gonna be the first one to complete a hard image. As long as he doesn't get sniped by this bee, by the way. Oh! Oh, I was right at the end there. Man, Zernikis is still working on this clip. And you know, I, I appreciate the exploration that's going on for Alpha. But that is a that is a cool three points for GDO. Taking the snooze pack in the right spot. Come on, hold down. You gotta hold down for longer. Yeah, Zernicus is, uh, can't find the video. 
I actually have the input display on my uh -huh. Vine clip video. Has anybody uh, figured out or like made a good guess as to how this pillar's picture can be taken? And full no. disclosure, I 0% would have gotten it in 10 years. So you can thank Cole for that one. Ring Rush was saying some stuff about like hybrid banjo, which might have worked, but isn't quite right. Zernik is going for another attempt. There we go, he held down. <laughs> now to make sure his camera doesn't get stuck in bounds like uh, GDOs did. There we go. He should be okay. Well done. He's afraid of clipping out. <laughs> Can't, you can't even get out of there. He, he's just like, he's afraid. <laughs> Alright, that counts. That's good enough there you for go. me. Well done. Nine points for Xenernicus. He maintains the lead. Got Claire going for a break in here. Alpha is lost. I think he's kind of just lost on what to do. Mm -hmm. He's out of ideas. He's going to go to the next one to see if he can brute force it. I mean, sewer switch is a way to get into water storage, but I don't know that why he would need that. Oh, he's probably setting up some. Um, some he's going for three stuff. one. Why is he going this direction if he's doing three one? Because he needs to get the slit up pad. Oh, true. You're right. My bad. Synchronized boulder breaking from your two bottom runners. Alpha trying to come up with some uh, clockwork warps. That was an attempt for sure. <laughs> it takes damage on both. Why is 3 1 hard? Uh, because it's not as easy as the first six. Because it's a precise jump. The worst part about what Alpha's doing is he's not at the right hole. <laughs> you, you can't just back leg spring your way up on top of the pipe. Just jump on the other barrel, buddy. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> I totally yes, saw But then once the you get on top of the other silo, it's still not a, it's still not free. You can't just bat leg spring up there. Uh-huh. Look how high it is. He's trying to find something else to jump on, but uh, he's not going to find it. This is why it's a... Uh, it's got the right idea, I A 3-1. Just take the Jinjo. <laughs> Jinjo. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's gonna help, buddy. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got uh, Claire in the top left making her way towards Mumbo to finish that GI picture. Alpha in your top right still trying to warp into the wrong hole. And Xenernicus in your bottom left looking to be doing the same kind of thing that GDO is, or he's dipping. Decided uh, he doesn't have the moves, maybe. But I don't think Xenernicus has learned Glide yet. It was my boy Univin who first uh, did this trick. What did Sternicus get while he was in HFP? Did he learn Glide? Did he do it that quick? I'm surprised nobody has even tried the uh, the Witchy World picture. Like GDO's given it a GDO lot, but... knows where it's, like where the camera angle is, but that's as far as he went. Alpha's getting so frustrated at this warp, and it's Address for X Y. You know this man. This, there's this escape room game, Escape Simulator. A bunch of us got, and Alpha made his own map. And one of his puzzles was a picture of a can, and then a plus sign, and then a picture of a dude. And under the dude, it said, "Formal address for X Y." And it was, what what word did these pictures make? <laughs> Anyways, GDO giving it some thought. He hasn't quite tried what he needs to be trying. He's, he's trying to find a, another ledge to get on top of, and he's just not going to find it. Claire making her way to the roof with Mumbo. Going to be attempting that, uh, that GI picture. Hopefully she doesn't run into the dude. It is a glide spam, but it's in a very specific spot. She's only got four health. She's going to have to figure out how to do this. And it's not on the edge of the room anywhere, because the edge of the room all curves. <laughs> I mean, he's looking. He's giving it his best effort. Word. Gideo's just giving up on it. That is unfortunate. I think his thought is, I'm going to go do some attempts on some other pictures. I'm going to stop wasting my time on this one. I'll come back to it if I've got time at the end. Yeah, if he can go get the Witchy World one, that will be really good for him. It'll put him ahead of Zanernicus. Who is still currently in the lead. Alpha is really dead set on doing this clockwork warp on the non-flat ground. Alright, See, now is just scoping it out. He sees where he needs the snooze. <laughs> just 
people yeeting themselves off the top of the roof. <laughs> I thought we had enough of this last challenge. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, Claire is so close to getting the, uh, the wand canceled. It's not easy to slope abuse on that ledge. Yeah. Alright, we got a solo banjo coming out for, uh, GDO. Let's see where his groggy was. I guess that's why you had to open the Inferno. That's why you had to become Van at all. Yeah. Does he have a burger? Saw the stand open, I think. Well done, GDO. Man, I'm gonna feel really bad when Alpha finally gets this clockwork warp, and then we tell him that his uh, his picture doesn't count. No, don't kick him out! <laughs> Wait, how did he kick him out? You just, you do the move to kick him out? No, but... But if you do that... He's not quite sure on how to get the text box to just appear. Oh, if you <laughs> fucking threw him! <laughs> Yeet! How, wait, how do you do that? Oh! Oh, and he despawns! That, that, that's just using the move and kicking him out. That, what's what you usually do with things in your pack. No, but any time that I tried to use the move, he would stay in the pack and he'd be like, Man, my mom's not here. Yeah, then you yeet him out by pressing B. <laughs> I didn't know that. Anyways, Alpha now going to be spending some time trying to figure out another Clockwork Warp. Actually, the easier Clockwork Warp. Hey, Finn and quitting because he has so much health. Oh, Claire did it. Yep, like that. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. And GDO's got, got it. it. GDO's got the uh, the first hard picture done, I think. Right? Nobody's done a hard yet. He's done a hard. That was the second hard. Oh, that was the second hard because he did the one in CCL. Yeah, very nice, GDO. You really wanted to get that other hard. So he's got 11. What is he? He's missing one of the easies, isn't he? Is he missing the T-Rex? He, he did not get the Quagmire one, I don't think. He couldn't figure it out. Mm. So if he's got 11 points, six of which have come from his hearts, he only has five points between his mediums. Meaning he's missing a one, which is, yeah, I think as Cole said, is the quagmire. Uh, he's attempting 4-3. He's got all the moves he needs. 
Wait, don't. Okay. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was ready to be like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Zanernus. Zanernicus, with his newfound knowledge of uh, Glide, is gonna come back to this one and try it again. Has no uh, idea which hole this is. He should know. <laughs> Just go through the route, Alpha. <laughs> which hole do you shoot in? Yeah, I think GDO has... He definitely did the snowball. <laughs> he would've made it if he stayed in Glide. I don't... The flapping is killing Zanernica. I don't remember if GDO did the GI one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did the GI one when he was there. Alright, GDO is now DCWing to... Um... Put it hollow. Definitely do not want to die here. So I presume that you gotta like glide from across the universe on certain heights. Am I right? Uh, kind of, but like I was saying earlier, there's an invisible ceiling in this room. It's like two feet above Kazooie's head in that photo. Oh my god. And so you have to slope abuse all the way around oh while being god. pushed down by the invisible ceiling. <laughs> what? In the I'm pretty sure I GDO watching? has seen me do this before. <laughs> yeah, he's doing this like he's seen it before, for sure. What in the heck is this? Yeah, nice, see, there's nice the invisible oh. ceiling. So yeah, you now you gotta <laughs> glide slope abuse around that corner there. Alright, and it looks like Xernicus is right about idea. to figure this one out. Like, it's a very precise, oh. like, jump, flutter, mm -hmm. glide abuse on that front there. It's to the point where it's, like, not obvious it's even possible. By the way, ladies, Alpha has figured out which hole is the right one. Yeah, the, the springies don't last long enough to be useful. Because you have the invisible ceiling. Dude, just use a different egg! Claire, top left corner of your screen, is making good progress towards the snowball picture. I think Zernicus is going to get this. If he just shoves his face out. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Yeah, see, so you have to get a little bit higher because... It not high enough from where you are on the green so that invisible ceiling is not actually a flat ceiling it's sloped so it's actually higher over by jingling than it is from where you are so you like can't even get up high enough from where he, you are over there so you have to go farther over that's why it's the insane one because it looks easy mm -hmm. but it's very deceptive on how difficult it is to actually do the slope abuse. Do you have a video readily available? No. 
Why does he keep leg springing? He's trying to get up higher. <laughs> but he clearly sees that it's not working, right? Oh, we've got 25 minutes left. Oh, if Claire just goes for it. If you just commit, you hold hard left, you're going to get it. She keeps like sticking to the wall and it's slowing her down. Yeah, th this pipe one is very discouraging because it is such a precise jump, you it doesn't feel like it's possible. What's unfortunate for Zernicus is he hasn't like made progress towards climbing. But she's got the right idea, he just doesn't realize he's got the right idea. I think Alpha got the warp. He's in. I think he's going to be pretty salty on how long it took him to do that one. Claire's trying a new strat where she just comes up from this side. You know, I tried for so long trying to get the snowball up into this chilly willy area, and I'm sure it's possible if you do like a boost off his ice ball, but I couldn't get it. Internet is your fire net. Ooh, Claire, get up there. Yeah, we've kind of reached that awkward point in the challenge where everybody's done more or less the ones that they know how to do. And so it's just a lot of... A lot of just putting your face in there. Just running into a brick wall over and over and over. The one comes loose. Yeah, that's why it's, it's hard to gauge how many points you needed to, like, say, oh, let's just say first to this many points. Yeah, and I was going to say first to 15, imagine. <laughs> yep, get right there, now jump around, now get it. So close! If, if he glided a little bit sooner there, he would have had it. But he's making progress. And, he, and he's like, seeing that he's making very No, progress. don't do that! Just off. <laughs> He keeps leg springing when he doesn't need to, and it's like actively hurting him. <laughs> Is Alpha trying to push himself in the hole with the clockwork? Oh, oh he got it. Uh, now you just gotta continue. No, you dropped too far. Alpha knows that this trick exists. <laughs> Ooh, Chidio might have something here. Yeah, that's what Zernicus needs to be doing. Oh, get up there. Very nice. Okay. Now, he just you just need to glide the rest of the way. That should work. That should be it for yep. Gdo. Well done. Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and then if he like tries to hatch and he glides off the edge here, he doesn't have hatch. Uh, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Oh my god, GDO, what are you doing? Oh, that is so painful. 
<laughs> the moment that he slid oh, off, I'm like, oh no. no. Oh, I mean, you can't rescind your claps. He did it, but he didn't. He's... Man, that is a feels bad. And he didn't make a safety save either, so... Well, on to the next picture, I guess. Nothing. There's nothing down there. Yeah, there's a floor, apparently. Znerdik is trying the bird balloon now. The thing about I mean, that was a re it's a really good idea to yeah. try the bird balloon there. You need a water plane above your head. And the problem is, like, with the water there, is that... It's, it's a texture and that's it. Right. And the water in the silos is, like... What's special about the water in TDL is it's, like, contained in a bowl, kind of. By the way, Claire finally made the snowball climb and died to an icicle. <laughs> Genius. Actually going for it. But the madman. What works in TDL is the way that it's, like, in a bowl is that you can... Ah, uh, he wasn't high point. enough. Alpha learned something, by the way. He's going for the clip. You know, you only got one health, uh, GDO. <laughs> I guess this is for, uh... For what are you gonna do when you try to land down there? <laughs> Dude, the me oh! I didn't know that happened! Hello? Yeah, you go high enough, you just void. That's why it's a hard trick. <sighs> I didn't know the music went away either. Bro, you got one health. Do something about it. Just walk into the water. Thank you. But he's got Snooze back. Oh, Claire. So close. Oh, you gotta just jump and go for it. You got it. So close. Was he high enough? No, he wasn't. So what? what is the goal here? You, you need to get high enough over the invisible wall. Mm. But not too high that you void. Gotcha. And then if you get hit by Chili Willy, then you don't take fall damage when you fall down. Yeah, we said that because, you know, in the picture, you don't actually know if the door is open or not, so. Ooh, Alpha is, like, way out of bounds. I don't... He's way higher than he needs to be. No way, wow. I don't understand what Alpha's problem is. That he actually got it? <laughs> or that he can't change the angle? Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, that counts. Good enough for me. Hey, Alpha's slowly catching back up to Xenerticus.
So if this this is Alpha's ninth point, it's he needs to find a hard. Xenernicus and Alpha need to find a hard to beat each other, essentially. Well, I mean, Xenernicus, since he got his ninth point sooner than Alpha did, he is in the lead in that respect, but... If either one of them gets one more picture, then that's it. Looks like Xenernicus is gonna go for 4-3 also. But nobody going for 4-2, which is arguably one of the easiest things that could have been done as one of the first ones. You know, once you showed me what it is, I, I am a bit surprised that nobody figured it out. So, let me... Cole, do you offhand have a link to the video? Uh, it's the one that I gave you. You can just right-click right it and you can get the link to it in Discord. If I post this, does it show up? It should. But this was in an old video, and you know, the, the Dragunda can push you out of bounds, which is what gives you kind of that effect of missing objects and such. And if you see up from the right spot, then you can get uh, a good view on that Jiggy. But anyways, back to the action. See, as Nernik is going for a DCW setup here, GDO is still trying to get over that invisible wall, and it's not working out for him. Not quite. Alpha scoping out his location. I think Claire maybe is looking for some train tracks that fit the description for 1-1. Not finding him. Alpha's gonna find the hidden split up pads in the tall grass that nobody found. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I knew about those since I was a kid. So what would you say GDO needs to do differently to make this work? It, it's all just about the timing. Gotcha. Now, either thankfully or not thankfully, there is only 13 minutes left of this for these guys. So I imagine some of them are like, hold on, I can get this. Like, I think GDO might be in the mode of thinking of, you know, I really think I can get this eventually. But some of our well, runner, my... runners might be thinking, oh god, please end this <laughs> so I don't have to do it anymore. What makes going over the wall so hard is that you void if you go too high. Oh, see, that was just too early. GDO. Hybrid does not work because you are not in the right state to go get the key. You, your backpack is not open when you're hybrid. Looks like Alpha's got his eye on the witchy world picture. Ooh. Meanwhile, Claire has her eye on the dinosaur picture, which she hasn't even attempted yet. Alpha's got his burger. Does he know where the boy is? Oh, so close for GDO, too. He might just continue to do this one, because he actually knows, potentially, what he's supposed to be doing. He's just gonna keep grinding it. And if he gets it, that's I think that seals up the lead for him. But you know what's crazy? What is actually insane 
is if GDO does not get this in the next 11 minutes and Alpha finds the groggy picture, Alpha wins. Because yeah. GDO skipped on some easies and mediums, I think. It, it, it's just that... Uh... He... Which one... There's the boy. Yeah. They gotta split up. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> He's trying to shoot him. <laughs> Alright, Sternicus is going for maybe a DCW to Toxic Waste. Is that what I'm seeing? I wonder what the idea is here. Oh, does GDO have it? Yeah, he had it, <laughs> but... You know, that's a long fall. You got three health. Yes, GDO did not give himself points for the, uh, the wooded hollow picture. Wait, what happened to Alpha? Oh, does he he doesn't have taxi pack. He needs to go get taxi pack real quick. GD is way not high enough for this. Why this is a really right. insane trick. Because if you're doing it with three health, not only do you have to time it to like get over the wall properly, but you also need the time getting hit by the ice mm -hmm. to not take damage. The only other way is to go get, like, 8 health. <laughs> or snooze pack tactical. Well, right. even with that, he's going to die to fall damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Gogo, -Go, you can survive the fall. You're not going to take more than 8 damage. As, as we've learned. <laughs> Wow, that was a three damage fall. All right, Claire has enlarged the wigwam. Now go be the dinosaur. Who is, uh, is Nernicus thinking that he needs to like take Solo Kazooie through the pipe? This or no, he's getting snooze pack. Yeah, well, that's doing. interesting. That's the way he went to do it mm -hmm. with DCWing and everything. I would guess five go go, but I'm not sure. I think well, I think he goes up to like eight. Really? Oh, that surprises me. I thought they split their health as evenly as possible with Banjo getting the extra health if it exists. I don't know, it's been a while. I think it, it, it goes up to like 6 or 7 or something. 8. So Alpha right now, what is he doing? Oh, he's getting... He doesn't even have enough nodes for Taxi Pack. I don't know if he's going to have enough time to make it. Seven minutes to collect notes, go to TDL, learn Taxi Pack, go back to- And know what you need to do when yeah. you get to- <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't think he has enough time, unfortunately. Which, I totally would have loved Damn. to see Alpha win. Alpha has come so close to winning so many of these challenges, <laughs> but... And now, but it's down to Xenernicus here. Does he know how to do this trick? If he right. can go do this in like six minutes here, he exactly. can snipe the victory. Claire is small dino, presumably to learn how to roar. No. Chilly Willy just not being abrasive. Do you need Chilly Willy to hit you? If you don't want to take damage when you fall.
Well, when you get hit by Chili Willy, you take no fall damage. Mm -hmm. For him, he needs him to hit him because he only has three health. Right. Man, there, Alpha, there's just no way for Alpha, which sucks. Man, I wanna, and I was thinking of taking this down to a hour and a half. Oh, Chili Willy took him out of I was place. actually really close. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, you should probably go find the loading zone that starts you off a little higher. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I check it back in with him. He's starting from like as low as he possibly could be. You know, go climb up the vine or something. He doesn't seem fully comfortable with this trick either. I think potentially Alpha knows he doesn't have enough time to make anything happen, so he's just autopilot doing stuff, I guess. Alpha already did his mumbo picture. Oh, Xenerticus is climbing the mountain. He's got four minutes to pull this one out. He's he's getting up there. Oh, well. hey, look! It's that platform that you could have started on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Close. So close. Claire's got three minutes to go become BK, become the big T-Rex, and then go find the spot to jump to. We should just extend this another hour. True. Type one in the chat if you want it to go for another one hour. <laughs> oh, 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 GDO's got it. Now he just got an up. Oh, no! GDO, no! He so thought he could just stay on there. Uh. Oh, Zurich has grabbed the ledge! It. Oh! Oh, GDO needs to get this, yes, like, now. Do or die. Oh, my God. Two minutes to go. What is Sterdicus dies It's a photo be, finish, though? guys. It's true. <laughs> oh, and he voids out. Sterdicus is staying so safe with the B. Bro! No! <laughs> oh, my God. That is a heartbreak, dude. <laughs> Oh. Well, I, I guess they've got a minute 20. <laughs> Wrong exit. Oh, that is so painful. He's got Even a chance, if... I think. I don't know. I think he's going to, like, get uh, right in front of it and run out of time yeah. if he get, does this perfectly. 
Yeah, and he's not doing it in the right spot either. Ooh, Claire, yeah, Claire is right on seven seals, by the way. She jumped a little early, but she makes oh, oh, it. Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> Just do the roar. Yes! Seven points for Claire. Well done. Well done. And it looks like people are stopping because their own personal timers are done. But, uh. All right, GG. That is uh, time. So let's bring them back in. GG. Bring them back in. I'm so sad. Bro. Bro, did anyone get any of the bottom ones? Mm, I... Well, no. But yes, but actually no. Would the offending party uh -huh. care to explain? I want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What'd you do? I, I routed my TDL in a way that I forgot hatch, so I made it to the top of the roof, but then I didn't oh. have hatch. Oh, that sucks. I successfully managed to damage boost out of bounds once with the Chili Willy thing. Oh, wow. You actually went for that stuff. I only did the oh, top yeah. two row. I got all the top six. That was it. Same. Yeah. That's, I just got to the 9. I was so close you to You were 12. so close. I should have just ignored the Zubba and just crossed. Yes, yeah. Because you were past it, too. Because we... I was what? You were past Everybody it was too. screaming. You just, just run. Yeah, yeah. I should have known better. How? Do... Yeah. Wait, which one I just thought he about? would chase after me. Uh, top of CCL with solo banjo. How I was set up for it. That? Well, it took me, like, time. literally, like, four minutes of... Pack by climbing till I found my way up because I did not know where to start and which slopes would work. Wait, do you yeah. pack back inside or outside the mountain? Outside. Or oh, the wow. easier way to do this trick is just pack sack pack levitate inside the mountain and you're literally next to the loading zone. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I thought about it, but I was like, I you know what? Realize I'm you like, do that. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? I want to do this because I know it works. GDO was the only person who learned sack pack, I think. Yeah, I was I, set up to learn sack pack, I, I like knew, I had the notes for it, but I, I didn't knew have from the time. the beginning I was going to try to do the uh, Mega Globo, but... I at least found a video for the Mega Globo, but it looked hard, so I was like, I'll save that for the end yeah, of the that's time. The, the classic Chronicles video. The only thing I didn't realize about that trick was how high you had to go to clear yes. the out-of-bounds wall. Uh, but so Nerdicus, do you want to just go by the Red Mumbo, climb the vine, and that's how you get as high as you can start? Yeah. Oh, Did anyone else mumbo. learn Dong Clip and uh, <laughs> Snowball on the fly? What did you call it, Alpha? Cole would Vine like to Clip, have a sorry. Word Vine. With you. According to at Banjo <laughs> Tui, OOB Snakehead Skip Dong Clip tutorial. <laughs> yeah, Dong Clip. What was yeah. the bottom middle picture supposed to be? It's pillars. I couldn't figure that out. It's pillars, but I figure yeah. you have to like unload the walls Here, somehow, bro, like unload I'll the post map or something. The video that Cole sent me. I spent like yeah. five minutes in the pillars room doing nothing. I spent so long in the oh, GGM water storage existed. room. I thought, like, Me too. I could get up there, video. but I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to get up there. I couldn't figure out that one either. I got you're... up to where the Jinjo is, and then I got stuck. You were the closest there, because you had the right idea. It's just stupid precise. But where do you land? Uh, the front of the pipe. Okay, I, I tried, I tried it that too, but I wasn't bit. high enough, so I was like, ah, oh, you can't get this. You have to, it's I very there was precise, something else you I have was to missing. flutter into it, and you'll get pulled up a bit, and then you can do the glide uh, flutter. Here's Dang. the real question, though. Did anyone get more than nine? I got nine, nine but I got eleven. Fuck. Bigger GDO got more, yeah. God, I got stomped. I'm just <laughs> bad. I, I'm you just stupid. Seven. I just don't know anything in this game. Yeah, like, I got six. almost <laughs> sniped victory, but then the Zubba sniped him. I did this. Oh no, wait, I would have gotten. Yeah, I would have had twelve. Yeah, if I got up there. Yeah. Did uh, anyone do the groggy picture? Like, just I don't know I how didn't you're even to do know how. I don't know you're how you're supposed to do, to do any of the bottom half. The groggy picture. I was like, why is this in hard? You just have to like get groggy and then just climb it, the pole in area fifty-one. It wasn't execution hard. It was just like knowing what it was bird. yeah see i i don't know if you guys oh, noticed okay. but i climbed the pole when i first entered witchy world because yes. i was like what yes, kind of angle can you get here yeah is that all it was to get that one 
yeah, you just you just pack whack Groggy, climb the pole, and then when you try and let him out up there, Banjo like really? opens his wow. pack and puts it back on, and the text box keeps going. So man, I thought this was like during the mumbo cutscene. I was like, how are you supposed <laughs> to do that? One? <laughs> no, no, I also thought it was during the mumbo cutscene. No, I was like really a, confused. That's just a see up image. So that, that's everybody. why it was considered hard because it was. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Interpret. Yeah. So sure. did everybody do the top six? I, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't train the track. I don't. I couldn't find the train. I don't know what train tracks. Those I couldn't. Were. Yeah, I the, it's that, the Quagmire. Yeah, track. that's the. That was like the only track. one that I knew oh, for sure I could get God. when we started. <laughs> I ran out of Clockworks when I went for it the first time, so I was like, ah, oh, fuck this. I. I how are you back. supposed to get on top of the pipe in GGM? I don't know. Legs yeah, I was very close. Dumb but... stuff. I had oh, like spring yeah, and glide, and it there. was still yeah. not good enough. I posted. The I really that. thought it was gonna be bird balloon. I thought Me like too, maybe there's a water was... plane in the pipe, and I, I tried. Too, but I was trying that for like five, no five minutes. I was like, okay, this, this isn't gonna work. I was just so thankful for last challenge for <laughs> the mumbo one. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, knew I was, was seven off the roof. I was so proud of myself for getting that bottom right picture, and then when I like <laughs> when I didn't have when I didn't have slid. When I didn't have hatch, I was like, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to get up there. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying it right now, and I'm curious if it's going to work. So I wanna, if, if, you sur if you search on YouTube, like, reaching the top of Jiggywiggy's Temple or whatever. I searched on top of Jiggywiggy's Temple, Uni Univin's video of him doing that. It's the first result. Oh, oh, is it, is okay. it just a way to clean Oh, Univin has a video of it? Okay. I had a I yeah, it was from, it it's, it's from March 2016. Yeah, it's one mean Univin word finding out a bunch of out of bounds places that that's the pipe one is also a univin one okay but yeah i just i just watched my videos video. for either of those but i, I didn't do the t-rex i didn't do the t-rex one either oh okay that one wasn't too bad i mean it definitely i was, was oh, i know i just one. i just wanted to get the get to the harder ones yeah first, yeah you didn't want to run out of time so for that that makes sense did anyone else try it for like 20 minutes Trying to clockwork warp into the wrong cage no. in TDL. No, I, I <laughs> immediately was like, that's the Jinjo cage. <laughs> we, dumbest so thing happy. happened to me when I was clockwork warping in there. I like, I like got hit and then I went back you, to Banjo. You like, soft locked. Yeah. You, you yeah, got the so soft lock that, frame. I, uh -huh. Yeah, but I didn't know that would happen. And I tried to switch back to Kazooie and it just crashed. I was like, what? So was basically, crazy. you got the soft lock frame, which usually brings you to the next area. But because the, the next area is the same area, and there was a character for you to tur turn into, you went back to Solo Banjo. Who said I should climb the mountain from the Red Skull side? This is, like, super hard. You... From at least Did higher you... up the mountain than from, like, the green area. Yeah, but none of the slopes around here seem good. You, you yeah. want to go over to the right. Yeah, like, you have to go to, to the, the right. where the loading zone is by the egg. Yeah, and then yeah. you go to the right. Yeah. I under-collected notes so hard. Like, at it, the end, it, I was trying to scramble, but... Dude, I collected so many notes. To the right of that loading like, zone over there yeah, is yeah, where okay. you were when you climbed yeah, up you the first time. Yeah, you have to go to the where the loading zone point. is by the end. Oh, okay, okay. I Does thought you were going to be like, right? oh, I should have yeah. got in here. Does the bottom right so require you to DCW? Yes. No. Yes. Bottom right, okay. Oh, I was on my way that requires it. I, w yeah. I was on my way to do that DCW at the end, but I was hoping it would just put me right yeah. at the very top, but it does not. I'm. I set up DCW because I was like, what if I need to use like I was thinking like I had hybrid banjo in my head, but then I look, but then I thought like I was like, wait a sec, this challenge wouldn't make sense if we had to DCW more than once. Mm -hmm. So there's yes. probably only one DCW. So I was like, well, Solo Kazooie in in Wooded Hollow is probably the only one. So then I was like. Well, what the fuck is going on with the Mega Globo then? And then all of a sudden, I was like, "Oh, that's probably Chronicles really difficult." Like, you know, the original Mega Globo early, and I was like, "Well, time to load that up." <laughs> yeah, I found that video super early on, but it, it, yeah, yeah it was I figured the it would be trick on the obvious to a lot of people. Pictures. But it's also the like dumbest trick on there. Okay, was I, I I got the mumbo one eventually, but that took me forever. Is there an easy way to do that? I also, what's the hard way that you did it? 
I went to the roof and damaged okay. uh, damage off the the worker to yeah. not take fall damage. Yeah, that's one easy way to do it. I think it, that's yeah. the easiest way to do it. Yeah, oh, the other way took me like way. thirty tries. The other way I, you can kind of like jump a little bit down and then wand attack off the that's edge. That's what I, I did. Oh, I, I tried yeah. that. I couldn't I get it to go. go on. I think you need more health for that though. The other 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 way is what Alpha did it. You just get more health. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I I did I did all the setup That's and got the roof for for it, but then I just never went back for it. Oh. This was I a very fun challenge. I'm salty that I had the chance to win and blew it at the end, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, dude, we're well, holding our breath. I've got more photo ideas. Yeah. This honestly, <laughs> this is a challenge that I could tell you right now could very easily come back and that's like not even saying anything so yeah if yeah. i didn't go for the snowball i might have actually gotten 10. yeah if what if, if i were to if i were able i got six Ooh. so i was on my way when i gave up on a snowball to go do dcw to wooded hollow mm -hmm. so if i would if i was able to find that univin video that gdo is talking about then i might have gotten 10. where do you use the dcw in wooded hollow you, you just have... talk to the obelisk. Oh, really? Oh, wait. And, okay. I, and do you I, have springies? Do you do I, I did a puzzle. No, <laughs> no in order... Too. In order you, to... Yeah, that was... to the temple. I was like, well... It, I was thinking, I was like, man, I would be more upset with myself if I don't try it and it works. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, good job, what? everybody. What? Yeah, to get on top of the roof, Alpha, you need to do a bunch of, like, leg springs and, like slope cancels off of Heggy. There's an invisible ceiling that actually walls you off from like oh off yeah. of jumping Peggy's? to it so easily. You glide, then? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah you do. And oh, it, the right. the jump from the slope Wait. in order to get to Jiggy Wiggy's like roof is like you have to do these really like really like precise leg springs in order to like get around like in order to keep enough height to make it to the roof. Right. Yay! Oh Yay. wait, not yet. So who? What were? Yay, what was the points job, in order from? <laughs> Thank what you. was the points so, in first from place, top to bottom? GDO with eleven, then Zernicus mm -hmm. and Alpha both with nine. But I'm pretty sure Zernicus got his ninth point first, and then Claire cool. with the buzzer beater seven points. Yeah. And wow. Sutter said you got six. I got six, yeah. I didn't mean to stop streaming. Oh well. That's fine. I mean, we're going to end stream here anyways. Okay.